Da haben wir Superfight K1. Dreimal drei Minuten wie 80 Kilogramm. Da haben wir in der blauen Ecke, in the blue corner, Akan Tagari. Tagari. And here we go with our next contest, ladies and gentlemen. We go back to kickboxing rules for this one at 80 kilos. And one of the most exciting, dynamic, unpredictable fighters that you will ever see in your life. Believe me, Akam Tadege, 33 and one as a professional with eight knockouts. He's so much fun to watch. And the blue corner. Akam Tagari and in the red corner of Superfight K1, Daryl Sichtman. Man, it has been a while. It has been a long time since we've seen Daryl Sichtman inside an MFC ring, but he is back. Ladies and gentlemen, the 30 year old, much more experienced, about twice the experience that Takare has. He last fought for MFC at Mixed Fight Championship 23 against Regian Ursul for the 78.5 title. It was a loss, and he hasn't been back since. In fact, I don't think he's been fighting much at all recently uh, since the pandemic. But he does have some big time victories over the years here at Big Fight Championship, and they do not call him the KO Specialist for nothing. This fight has the potential to steal the show. The KO Specialist in the red corner, Daryl Sichmann. Superfight K1. 3 mal 3 Minuten bis 80 Kilogramm. Fight number 7. In the blue corner, Akam Tagare. In the red corner, Daryl Sichmann. Gentlemen, I want to see a, a clear and a tough fight. Respect my command, no unlegal technique. Any questions? Good luck, touch gloves if you want. Predictable, unorthodox style of Akam Karage and Daryl Sitzman, the KO specialist. This is a clash of styles, and it's going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out. There landed a little bit low, almost in the hamstring. Sitting very calm, very patient, holding his ground. Big shots going in there. Winding up 
for something. You can see the wheels in his mind turning. Like, what can I do to this guy? He's got so many different ways of attacking you. Just like that. He's always keeping you guessing. Always pulling the strings, always thinking ahead. And you got Sigmund here just studying, just dissecting him. Cutting down the ring. He can't move around and jump around and throw spinning kicks if he's stuck in the corner or against the ropes. And the KO Special is trying to sneak in the knee there and turn the lights out. I think Sigmund's got a good move. He's gonna, he's gonna try to cut the ring down, trap this guy in the corner, and knock him out. Tagare is gonna use the ring, use his distance, move around. Oh Lord! But those hands of Sigmund are really going. And again, he's sticking right on him now. Cannot hold on to the rope. Fight must take place inside the rope, not outside of He is so fluid sometimes in this movement. Can't get trapped in that corner though. Sickman closing in on him again. Whoa. Very strategic kind of a fight we've got going on in the ring right now. Cat-mouse game going on. You've got Tagare trying to use the ring, trying to move around, trying to have enough distance between him and his opponent to pull out some of those amazing uh, spinning shots and those unorthodox maneuvers. And you've got Daryl Sickman trying to close down the ring, cut him off at every corner, stick him in the, stick him in the corner or up against the ropes and wail. Which style will prevail? That was a spin kick to the knee almost. I don't know where that thing landed, but it was way south of the corner. It's just unusual enough to work. Oh, and Sigmund now is going to give him a taste of his own medicine here. I think he's done being patient. And he's going to step on the gas a little bit here. Tagare wraps him up and takes him down to the canvas there. That's a hard way to go down. Uh oh. Sports, sportsmanship here between these two. In all honesty, as much as I do love watching uh, Tagare perform, he has shown from time to time to be a poor sport in the past. Sickman blasted with a left hand. Boy, he came bouncing right off those ropes there, and Sigmund let him have it with the knee. He's claiming it was a low blow. Didn't look that way to me, but it could have been. <laughs> Yeah! 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 Yeah!
No holding. Kakarag is the kind of guy who's very hard to look good against, you know? He's, he's so unusual. He's, you know, he's, he's hard to deal with. He'll grab you and he'll wrap you up and he'll spin kick you. And he definitely won't just stand there and trade shots. He's been trying to let him have it with a left hand. Step back. Fight! Hard exchange there. Boy, this is an ugly fight. This is really all oh, you put the knee on him that time. Come on. Well, honestly, he's giving him a taste of his own medicine there as well because. Tagadeg has been playing games the whole round. And Sickman got tired of it. And now he's claiming a low blow. That for sure wasn't a low blow. He put the knee on his chest, which was not a friendly gesture, to be honest. But it was not a low blow. I mean, <laughs> he expected a, a touch of gloves. There was not going to be any touch of gloves. There was a lot of bad blood starting to boil inside the ring right now. Sickman is, is sick and tired of the games, and he hit him in the back of the head, too, for good measure. Well, it is getting ugly, folks. It is getting ugly. And it's only going to get worse, I have a feeling, in the next round. So be prepared for anything. Let's take another look at what actually happened. I think that uh, Tagareg was, was claiming a low blow a couple of times when it didn't happen, to be honest. And uh, Sickman was also playing dirty when he stuck his knee on the chest of Tagareg when they were on the ground. So both guys are, are pushing each other's buttons. Okay, now watch this. Low blow? I don't think so. I don't think so. But then again, it wasn't my groin, so what do I know? Yeah, thank goodness it wasn't. Round three. Referee giving both guys a warning here before we start round number three. I don't think it's going to help very much. Whoa, my! Oh, he cleaned his clock that time! Tagarek just cleaned the clock. He's claiming a low blow again. The referee didn't say stop, and Sickman came right after him. <laughs> We've got ourselves a fight now, ladies and gentlemen. And they get, oh boy, now that's sending a message. That's sending a message loud and clear. Tagarag is playing games in there, and Sigmund, it, it, if, if uh, Tagarag wants to play games, Sigmund can play them too. I say break. Step back, first official warning. Hey, I say break. Step back, first official warning. Time in, fight! Don't touch it, guys, no way. That was a very, very stern warning. I can't remember the last time I saw a warning that stern from a referee. He's, he's sick and tired of the games as well. But that's just the kind of fight we got going on right now. We've seen it time and time again. This is nothing new from Akam Tagarek. In fact, that's why I like watching him fight. <laughs> because it's so interesting. It's never dull and it's never, but what is he doing now? He turned his back on him and just ran across the ring. Whoa! Now with a flying knee and they tumble through the ropes. What is he doing? He's hanging on him there. He was hanging on him like a bad habit. Oh, it just tosses him to the ring. How about that? And Tagreg's always got something to say. 
He's always got something to say and always got some kind of a reaction for everything that happens in the ring. He's like that kid in the back of the class who's always got some smart answer for the teacher. Oh my! Here he comes now, sick man with a flying knee and another one! Another big knee and this time he puts him down! Sick man lands the knee and Tarage took a knee. And then he complains to the referee about getting a count. Well, he complained about any anything. Sigma now looking for more big shots. Round three, oh, he kicked him right in the rear end. He just put his foot straight up his... Well, you saw it. <laughs> oh, man. Most entertaining fight of the evening? Perhaps. <laughs>